Kia has introduced a new car to its Australian lineup. It's the smallest car that Kia makes and it's called the Picanto. We're here at the Australian launch of the Picanto to drive it on local roads and see what it has to offer. So what do you need to know? Well the Picanto is smaller than the Kia Rio or a Holden Barina. It actually lives in what's called the microcar segment. So it's up against the likes of Holden Spark, Mitsubishi's Mirage, Nissan's Micra and the Suzuki Celerio. And it competes really well with those cars on price. This generation of the Picanto went on sale in Europe in 2011 and it's been really popular there. Then in 2015, there was an update to the Picanto and this is that updated car. So this particular generation of the Picanto has been around for quite some time. It just hasn't been on sale in Australia. And get this, next year, the brand new generation Picanto is gonna be on sale. So what do you do? You could wait for the new generation car, it's going to be more modern, it's going to have more in-car tech, but the thing is, it's probably not going to be priced as low as this one. So why don't we talk about this current Picanto then? Very straightforward. It's one specification, it's called the SI, and it comes with a four-cylinder petrol engine and a four-speed automatic transmission. So what's it like to drive? The steering's good, the turning circle is excellent. The brakes are a bit sharp and the four speed auto could do with a fifth gear. But this is a city car and that's where it's happiest. Like pretty much every micro car in the Australian market, the Picanto standard features list really just covers the basics. There's rear parking sensors, a CD player, Bluetooth, cloth seats and power windows in the front and back. We're really pleased with the Picanto's cabin. This might be a tiny car, but the cockpit is mature in its stylish design. Even the cloth seats are tasteful with its electric circuit pattern. The Picanto is made in Korea, and the car that's on sale in Australia has been tuned for Europe. Still, we found the ride, even on our local roads, to be impressively good. It's comfortable and composed. The Kia Picanto is going to be most at home in the city. It's really easy to drive, it fits into ridiculously small car spaces and there's plenty of grunt for buzzing around town. Look, we took it out onto the open road and there were, there were no major dramas there either. And it's also really good looking. There aren't many cars in this class that are this pretty. Look, it's not faultless, but if you take into account Kia's seven year unlimited kilometre warranty, it's a really good package at a great price.